Hey, police say that the AK-47 style rifle that Patrick Crucius used in the El Paso attack was bought legally. Today, Alana Otler looked into how investigators track those firearms. What did you find out today? Doug, we have all heard of the gun show loophole. Private gun sellers don't need to run background checks. But if you bought that gun legally, police can trace that serial number to a registered dealer in minutes. In Texas, there are few requirements that stand between a gun buyer and a gun. You must be at least 21 years old without any pending criminal charges. That's it. Well, I think we need to determine if, in fact, the system is in operation, and if so, where did it break down? Buck Ravel formerly served as the FBI special agent in charge in Dallas. He says if a buyer meets that criteria and shows no sign of mental instability, there's little a dealer can do to stop the sale. Now, at that dealer, uh, you know, they, they may discern some, shall we say, iffy circumstances that would cause them to either delay it or to make further checks, but that's up to the discretion of the dealer. The El Paso police chief says Patrick Crucius purchased his weapon legally. So did Connor Betts, the accused gunman in the deadly Dayton shooting. In fact, investigators say Betts bought his assault rifle online in Texas, along with 100 round drum magazines. Ravel says Texas does not limit the amount of ammunition or number of rifles a customer can buy. There's a lot of reasons to buy bulk ammo that are legitimate, but on the other hand, if it's an individual who has no such activities, uh, it's obviously a, a suspicious indication. At this time, federal agents have not stated where the gunman purchased his weapon. An ATF database shows there are at least 1,500 licensed dealers just in DFW. Alana Altler, CBS 11 News.